Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So let me talk to you guys about how I can fix a cavity in your home. So I am a restorative dental hygienist. So what that means is I have certain specialized skills more than a dental hygienist, but I'm not a dentist. So I'm kind of in between where I can fix cavities in your home. So if you have a cavity that needs fixing, what I do first is I apply a liquid. So this is an, an anti-carious liquid called silver diamine fluoride. This is what will actually kill that bacteria that's causing the cavity and prevent it from getting larger. So the same step, if you were to go to the dental office, for them to take out that cavity, they use the high-speed handpiece, the drill instead of the liquid to take out the cavity. So I use a liquid instead of the drill and a dentist uses a drill instead Instead of a liquid. It's almost 2021. Things have changed. So it's amazing, especially for kids. But then to apply the filling over top, that's what I do. I put the filling over top. So I'm a mobile dental hygienist. So I bring the same portable equipment. In this case, it's called a triturator. And that mixes up the filling material in the little machine. And I just simply place it in in, um, into the tooth, I pack it in, I polish it, I do whatever has to be done so it does feel like your tooth again. I will check your bite with something called articulating paper to check to make sure that it's where it should be and that's it. Whereas if you go to the dentist, they do the same thing. So if you've ever had a filling before, as I'm talking about these steps, you might start to remember. So the difference is between a dentist and a restorative hygienist is I use that liquid silver diamine fluoride to take out the cavity. And that's the only difference. Plus I don't do needles. So a dentist, that's why they have to give you the local anesthetic first to make the tooth or teeth numb. So when they're drilling out the cavity, with the drill, it doesn't hurt. I don't give needles because I'm not hurting you because I'm not using a drill to take away that cavity or in some cases enamel at the same time. So I don't use needles, none of that. I put the liquid in of silver diamine fluoride. I put the filling in after that, shine the light, you know, pack it in, all of the same stuff done. That's it. The other difference is though, I cannot take x-rays. So typically, especially if you have a lot of cavities, a dentist does like to take x-rays afterwards to make sure that the cavity has been fully removed from the tooth and that the filling will do its job. So I can't take x-ray. So after I put the liquid in to kill the cavity, put the filling in, I will still probably say to you at your next dental checkup with a dentist, have them take x-rays just so we can check those areas to make sure that those cavities don't come back. Because something that a lot of patients don't know is you can still get cavities around a filling. So just because we filled a tooth for you, doesn't mean that cavity won't come back. You can still get a cavity around a filling and that's where x-rays are so helpful to really check and make sure that those cavities don't come back. Another thing though too is let's say a little cavity did come back. I can apply that same liquid over that cavity area to kill the cavity and stop it from getting bigger before it gets so big that you need another filling. So I really like that silver diamine fluoride. It's amazing. It is so much more cost effective. We don't always have to drill into the tooth if the cavity is too small. Has a dentist ever said to you that you have little cavities, they're going to keep an eye on it. They're going to watch it because the cavity is not big enough to fill yet. Well, anytime I see a suspected area like that, I don't just watch it because I don't want it to get bigger. So what I do is I put that liquid over top and that will prevent it from getting bigger as long as you're brushing properly. If you leave that area alone, it always gets bigger. I'm telling you, it does. The next time you go for your dental checkup, they will tell you, guess what? It's gotten bigger. Now we have to fill it. So that liquid that I'm talking about truly is amazing. I apply it to my own teeth. I have noticed little spots sometimes where I kind of wonder if that's a cavity or not. I put the liquid on. When I check it, say three months later, it's not sticky at all. So you know how at the dentist, even the hygienist, we like to poke in there, right? We, we like to poke the teeth. 
we're not doing it to be annoying. We poke in there to check, well, is that little spot sticky? Is that little stain sticky? If it is, that's a good indication that it's a cavity. If it's a little sticky, that's where we might say, let's watch it. But I don't watch it. I put the liquid on so it doesn't get stickier and get bigger. If it's really sticky, that's when we might say you need a filling. But let me put the liquid on for you guys so things don't get bigger. This stuff works great for kids, adults, seniors, anybody, because that liquid takes two seconds, literally two seconds. Okay, maybe five seconds, but it doesn't take time at all. You don't need needles, and that can even prevent you from getting a filling if the cavity is tiny enough. But if you need a filling, I can do that as well, unless I suspect that tooth needs a root canal or we have to pull the tooth. That's where the dentist comes in. So I don't pull tooth and I don't do root canals, but I can do fillings. So I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.